Hey everyone, this is graphic designer Roberto Blake and welcome to another Photoshop CC tutorial video. If you're just finding the channel for the first time, I do Photoshop CC tutorial videos on Thursdays, graphic design videos on Mondays. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be using the quick mask tool and showing you that method of doing masking and how you use that tool. You don't need Photoshop CC in order to follow along with this tutorial. Quick Mask is available in most modern versions of Photoshop, including Photoshop CS3 through Photoshop CS6. So let's go ahead and get started. So to enter Quick Mask mode, you're going to use Shortcut Q. And in this case, I already have our selection made. And I'm just going to actually go and save that selection. And I'm just going to label it Quick Mask. So you enter quick mask mode by pushing shortcut Q, or you can go here and you can select the different mode methods. So with shortcut Q selected, you'll want to go ahead and select black for the area that you want to mask because black conceals and white reveals when we're masking. So you'll want to go ahead and select that and you'll paint out the area that you want to mask. And this doesn't have to be super clean or precise. A Wacom tablet does help considerably but you can kind of see how I did our original selection. And I'm just gonna undo that, and I'm just going to actually load our previous selection by getting out of quick class mode and deselecting. I'm going to load our quick mask, and that makes the selection. I'm just gonna hit shortcut Q so you can see the quick mask. And again, if I wanna mask more of this out, I can do that with uh, the black. If I wanna paint it back in, I use the white, and it really is that simple. Now, with a Wacom tablet, you can get this um, super precise, but you don't necessarily have to, depending on how you plan to work and what your image needs, because you can combine this with the Refine Edge tool, which I already did a previous tutorial on with regard to masking with the Refine Edge tool, and this will help you. Uh, you see that I usually do this a lot in my uh, photo manipulation tutorials, and in my speed art videos, and that's just because I prefer this method sometimes. Um, there are other instances where I actually prefer to use the pen tool or combine with the um, lasso tool or the magnetic lasso tool, so it just depends on what you're doing. So if I were to just create a layer mask based on what we have now by getting out of quick mask mode and by hitting Q and just go down to create my mask, you can see that it creates uh, this pretty nice, pretty clean mask and that we can edit it if we want to. And, you know, that's perfectly fine. But let's say I want to make a more precise mask. I'll just shortcut W, hit Refine Edge. Use a Smart Radius brush. And then I can just start working here like this. And you can see that I can create something much more precise with this hair. And I can get um, really good masking with this hair. So again, I didn't have to be super precise with the quick mask tool itself because this does a lot of my work for me. And you can see what a precise and clean mask that makes overall. So, you know, this looks uh, pretty good, so I'm just gonna have that do um, a new layer with a layer mask and hit OK. And that looks pretty good. So that's how you would ultimately end up using the quick mask mode in order to work within Photoshop. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you understand the quick mask tool a little better. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Watch the other Photoshop CC tutorial videos in my series. And as always, thanks for watching.